let's look at how to take control of some of the formatting involved when creating a chart. We'll insert a simple chart. I'll we'll select the data, then do insert column 2D column chart clustered. There's my basic chart, and it has a default um, kind of formatting. And we've already looked in a previous video the fact that we can use the design tab and chart styles to alter the simplest of appearance of of the chart. But we can take more control over that. Firstly, the individual elements, for example, the title, you can do normal formatting. If you select the Home tab, then you can change things like font style and size in the normal way. So that's normal formatting, but again, we've, we've still got more control that we can do, so I'll just undo that. What we want to do is select the Format tab. Now remember these tabs that we've been working with, Design, Layout and Format, are only going to be there if you've got the chart selected. If I click off the chart, those extra tabs disappear. So just click on the chart. The chart tools are then available, Design, Layout, Format. We're going to work with the Format tab. Like always, you need to tell the computer the computer which part of the chart you want to work with. So you can use the current selection section to dial up the part of the chart that you want to work with. I'm going to choose the chart area and then look at some of the effects. We've got shape styles section and from there we've got some stylings here that we can apply to the chart. You see if I click on that one it gives the chart a nice uh, coloured border around the outside. We've got more styles there. We can click them to move up and down. Again, if you want to preview it, just hover over the style and it previews that for you. Or we can use the uh, More button to expand the dialog box to be able to choose the one we like the look of. So that's Shape Styles. Also in there, we can take more control. So this is giving us our basics but we can have more control using things like shape fill and we can change the colour of that background shape outline again this is adding uh, a border around the outside it's still in there we can alter the weight to make it thicker so I'm going over this fairly quickly shape effects we can perhaps add a shadow or a glow to the whole thing let's add a glow click away you can see the chart there it's got a thick border on the outside a pink glow and it's colored green click back on the chart remember we're using the format tab and then we've dialed up the section we want to work with in this case the chart area and then we're making individual selections from this shape style section if you can go further than that rather than work with the whole chart you can work with individual elements so let's dial up the chart title and you can use these exact same features to add styling to just that segment. So let's try this. And it puts that styling onto just the title. Select the legend and have a different styling on the legend. And again, with all these, you can add in all these different effects as well. Remember, just because you can alter the formatting does not necessarily mean that you should. Let's try selecting uh, the series monthly salary. That's the actual columns of data. You can see they've all been selected. And you can do exactly the same thing. You can add colorings to them, different styles. You can then individually go to the different fill effects, outlines, and shape effects. So you can do all that in the same kind of way but you can also add pictures into these different elements and again you can do this on any of these sections when I go to shape fill so again you've got to select the section you want to work with in this case I've got the series selected if I go to shape fill and drop down to picture then I can find a picture on my computer 
to insert into that chart element. Let's put Father Christmas in. And it inserts that picture into the chart. Let's look at that again. I was using Shape Fill, Picture. Choose a picture from your computer. Um, let's try this one and then insert. And it inserts that for you. We can also use the shape styles to expand the dialog box. And that just shows you that really all we're doing here, these are all just shortcuts to the format data series data uh, dialog box. And we can dial up all those options that we want here. So we can do the fill effects from here as well border colors styles shadows so you can have a play around with all these different effects and perhaps you've got more control over them in this section let's just repeat that um putting in a picture if i do fill from here you can see i've got more control i can have a solid fill and then choose the color from here i can have a gradient fill and choose different kind of preset colorings and as you do that the chart is updated so it's just playing around with all these different features and you can see the effect it has in the chart as you do it. I can have a picture, again I can use uh, clip art so I could find something from clip art or something from file. Let's find Santa Claus again. This time when you've got more control so you can see Santa Claus is rather stretched there because stretch is selected. You can do stack and what that will do is put lots of little pictures of Father Christmas in or stack and scale so you've got a lot more control if you come into the actual dialog box if you've already got a picture as I've got on here at present you can also insert that using copy and paste um, I've got to use keyboard shortcuts for this control C to copy it select the chart element that you want to work with either by clicking or dialing it up here and once I've got that selection I'm going to do Control V and that's because the normal and you can see it's being pasted in there the, the normal um, right click will not bring up paste so I've got to use a keyboard shortcut so formatting is really fairly straightforward make sure you've got your chart selected choose the format tab and then use the current selection drop down to choose the part the area you want to work with and then use the shape style section to dial up the coloration that you want to apply getting more detail and more control by using these drop downs or expanding the dialog box